The Canon M50 is arguably one of the best cameras for creating content to include live streaming. So in this video, I'll be sharing you how to live stream with your Canon M50 and turn it into a webcam. And be sure to stick around to the end of the video as I share the best settings to get the cleanest looking image possible. Let's get it. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar with Think Media, helping you build your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do techie reviews, other times we do tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, before we get into the various ways that you can live stream with the Canon, I want you to do a few things. First, set your camera to 1080, and then set your focus mode to face tracking. By doing this, you'll get the best autofocus settings, and then I'll get into the rest of the other settings later in this video, so make sure to watch this video the whole way through. The first way to stream with your M50 is to use it with a USB. This method works uh, with many other Canon cameras as well, but if you wanna see the full list of Canon cameras that this works with, we'll put a link to that in the description below. However, using the USB option isn't a one size fits all for this moment at the time of shooting this video. Uh, this USB option works best with PC computers and laptops. And really all you have to do is download the driver from the Canon website, hook up your M50 and you're good to go. This by far is the easiest and cheapest way to use your Canon M50 as a webcam. But depending on the length of your micro USB, you may wanna grab a long one uh, so you're not limited to where you place your camera and we'll put a link to a good one in the description as well. But this is a very trustworthy option because when we first tested this way, we got it up and running in literally less than five minutes for a live stream. And so a uh, super cool way, but uh, only works best with PC right now. And I know they're working on a Mac version of this. Uh, however, it isn't quite there yet, but I'm sure they'll get it down pretty soon. Now there's something to know if you are using a MacBook or an iMac and you have the M50 and you wanna use it as your webcam, and it is to either use a special software, uh, the one that we would recommend is called Ecamm Live. Uh, this, like many others, are is a paid subscription, but that's following the free 14-day trial, but what's cool about this program is it actually will read your Canon camera via USB, but the only limiting thing about this option is if you use Ecamm Live, you can only use it for live streaming to things like Twitch, Facebook, or YouTube, but you wouldn't be able to use it for things like Zoom calls, Google Hangouts, uh, or even StreamYard, which uh, we love using it for that purpose for sure. Now, if you do wanna use your Canon M50 for your Apple device, uh, then you might wanna look into investing into a capture card. And what we recommend is the Elgato CamLink. And this comes in at around $200, but I love the Elgato Cam Link, it's uh, essentially a plug and play option. You literally plug it in USB and it converts your HDMI into a USB, and then you can access your camera no matter what program or streaming software you're using. So I do love that as an option, but I definitely think that Canon is working its way to make sure that the uh, Apple user gets to use their Canon M50 with a USB. So if you're in a pinch, maybe you wanna uh, invest in that Elgato Cam Link, but if not, just wait it out. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna come up with something in the near future. Now, if you're getting value in this video, why don't you hit the like button for me? Thank you so much. And question for you is, do you live stream or do you plan on live streaming? Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, regardless of whatever way you plan on uh, using the M50 to live stream, it'd be wise to invest into a battery power adapter so that you have unlimited battery. The worst thing it would be if you were mid live stream or mid zoom call and your camera die. Uh, maybe invest in getting a long USB cord so you're not limited to where you put the M50. And then maybe a tabletop tripod so you can adjust it to your liking. But we'll put all our recommendations down in the description below, so make sure you check out those links. So once you have your camera showing up on your computer, uh, you can change all your settings without touching the camera via the Canon utility app. So that's if you're using the USB option, obviously. But the first thing is to set your frame rate and shutter speed. We recommend for live streaming to use either 30 or 60 frames per second. And you can select that by hitting the quick menu button on your screen, selecting your frame rate. And now because we are choosing 30 frames, we're going to also change our shutter speed to 1 60th of a shutter. If you selected 60 frames per second, then your shutter will be 1 1 25th of a second. But once you do this, the next thing you wanna do is then frame your shot. Place your camera where you want it to live for the live stream. And if you have a zoom lens or the ability to zoom, uh, you wanna make sure you lock that in too as well. I like shooting a little bit wide uh, because the aperture can be a little bit lower. But once you have that part down, the next thing is to set your exposure. 
bring your aperture down to around 2.0 to 3.5. And if you're using a lens that came with the camera or what you would consider a kit lens, then you probably can only go as low as 3.5 when zoomed all the way out. And so that's just something to keep in mind, but that'll give you the most background blur for that lens. Um, but if you have a lens like the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4, then you can get that super blurry background bringing your aperture way down. Um, and I would suggest to keep it at around F2, just to make sure all of your face is in focus. And after setting your aperture, then the next thing is to set your ISO to auto. Now, all you have to do at this point is set your exposure meter to get the proper exposure. If you need it to go brighter, just increase the exposure. If you need to get darker, just bring it down. A quick power tip is to definitely get lighting on your face, whether you're using a window or an LED light, it'll just make your image look a lot better. After you have that all set up, then get your colors right by setting your white balance to either auto or use the presets that come with the camera, depending on your lighting situation. The next thing you wanna change is your picture style, which there's a ton to choose from, but choose the one that you like best. And one thing to note is it doesn't really look the exact same as what it looks like in the flip out screen. So watch your computer as you change it until you find the look you like. So now that you're all set up for your live stream, you need a good USB mic. And we did a video on the Samsung Q2U. It's a solid $60 USB mic that'll level up your audio for live streaming or Zoom calls. But you can check that out by clicking or tapping the screen. And I can't wait to see you in another video. Peace.